Good morning, YouTube. What is going on? It is Copenhagen Dipper 111 back at you with another video. I know y'all are still fucking pissed drunk. I wish I could have been. Fourth of July. Hmm. Wish I could have partied, but <laughs> I'm broke as a joke. Back in the chat. <laughs> Insane in the man brain. Insane in the brain. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pop us in a dip. <laughs> yeah, buddy, I decided to do, uh, you know, go ahead and uh, do this video with this, you know, haircut all shown up and shit. I don't know, but we'll see. Just because I got this kind of haircut does not mean that I do not still put dip in. Especially in the morning. Wakes my ass up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's go ahead and get some dip. And always remember, pack dip spit, bitches. Doesn't matter what flavor, you know me. Doesn't matter what flavor, doesn't matter what brand. Just go ahead and open up your can, grab a pinch, throw it in. It's early in the morning, yeah, I know, but fuck all that shit, man. Let's go ahead and uh, get us an early morning buzz. I didn't think I'd have to pack it, but apparently I do. Oh, oh, jeez. That's nice. I don't know how y'all liked my video that I did yesterday. I got a full fourth of can. I buzz my fucking ass off. Fucking shit. I'm not gonna lie, I almost puked quite a, quite a few times, even after the, uh, the fucking video. School bus? What the hell is a school bus? Doing running. Right now they're still school. <laughs> I'm just playing. I know they run for several different things, but, uh, Anyway, Dipski for the lips again. Nothing like that early morning buzz, you know. Go ahead and pop in a killer filler. You know what I'm saying? Just, just that tiny extra bit of dip. That nicotine carson through our bodies. Yeah, when I net, when I get that nicotine going through my body, yaddy yaddy. <laughs> I'm still laughing at that video. There's a video on Instagram. <laughs> it's, it's funny as shit. Oh yeah. Grizzly Wintergreen, long cut. Not my everyday brand. Not my everyday 
um, dip and more, uh, you know, I go for Copenhagen straight, but that's what I got right now, so, fuck it, dip is dip, you know, and, and it's kind of funny, really, I, I actually get a, bigger, bigger buzz off of Grizzly than I do Copenhagen now. I don't know what that is. I don't know what the fuck. But, uh... This video is about several different things. One of them being my baby. My woman. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? That wonderful woman. Who may be states away. But I ain't gonna stop me from, you know, giving her all the love I have to give, you know what I mean? It's been hard, yeah, it's been tough. But if you really love somebody, you're not gonna give up on them. You're not gonna let the stress get to you, you know? Especially in a long distance relationship. Me and her, we've been together for six, going on seven months now, close to a year. And uh, we've had our we've had our downs. Everybody does. But the main thing that's kept us together is the fact that you know we're willing to work shit out. You know that's what a relationship is about. You know. There are things that you that you have to talk about. No matter how dirty it is, no matter how bad it is, no matter how bad it's gonna sound coming out of your mouth, you gotta get it out on the table. And you gotta talk about it. You know? That's... That's what you do if you love somebody as much as you say you do. And, um... I do love her with all my heart. I do. And I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna let the stress get to me. You know? Long distance... Long distance relationships are the hardest. Yeah. Especially when you're in Texas. And, uh... Let's just say you're in Texas. And your girl's in... Fuck, I don't know. Uh, Minnesota, North Dakota, wh whatever. Even a state away. Even a state away. You know, it gets hard. It gets hard because, you know, you, you want to hold them. You want to love them. You want to be there for them when they're down. You want to, you know, make sure they're okay 24-7. And sometimes you can't do that. There are times that you can't do that, but if you really love that person, you're not going to let that get to you. You're going to keep on going. You're going to keep trucking. You're just going to keep doing it. I mean, me personally, me personally, I believe that, uh, if a man tells a woman, or nowadays, if a man tells a, you know, it could be anybody. You know, I'm not, I'm not judging anybody. I'm not here to judge anybody. It's not, it's not me. But, you know, if a man tells a woman. Those three magical little words, I and love and you. That, that man is obligated to do so. I mean, come on. Every woman wants to hear that. Every woman, you know, wants to hear that they're loved. 
that they mean somebody, that mean something to somebody. And I tell her, you know, I tell her how much I love her and how much she means to me every day. I don't care how many, uh, you know, people say, oh, you need to find somebody closer. You need to find somebody more closer to home. Same city. No. No. I love her, and I'm gonna keep, and I'm gonna continue to love her. I'm not gonna say I love you to her. And then turn around and say it to another woman who I really don't want to, you know, really want to know. I don't really want to love her. I want to love her. Because she's been there for me when I needed her most. And I've been there for her when she needed me most. You know? Love is a very fragile thing. It can be given, and it can easily be taken away. I think we all know that. Our words are, they can be constructive, and they can be deconstruct uh, they can be destructive. You know. Our words can be our worst enemies. You know. But the point is, I'm not gonna sit here. And let the stress, you know, let the stress of being in a long distance relationship, not being able to hold her, not being able to, you know, be there for her every time I want to be, I'm not going to, you know, let that get to me. I'm going to do it. I'm going to love her to the best of my ability from here. And then whenever I, whenever whenever I work up the money to, you know, get a place and move, then I'll be able to, you know, care for and love her like the way I wanted to. But, uh... I just wanted to get that out on YouTube. You know? Well, everybody knows what a relationship looks like, but for those of you who are in long distance relationships, if you are, just keep on trucking. Keep loving her or him, doesn't matter. Keep doing it. Keep trucking. And whenever they move to you or you move to them, then you'll be able to love them the way you want to. I mean, I understand that when some people say, I love you, it really means, I love your pussy. But, I don't. I don't do that, you know. When I say when I say those three magical words, I mean them, because that's how I was raised. It's how me personally. That's how I was raised. I just wanted to get real, you know, be real with y'all.
anyway, that's my video. Copenhagen Dipper 111. Always remember, pack, dip, spit, bitches, don't puke. <laughs> but, um, remember, like, comment, and subscribe, motherfuckers.